Have you ever wondered what makes plants grow? How do they decide when to develop flowers? Good gardeners know how to encourage plants to grow. And this gardener is also a scientist. He's going to investigate an idea. He's taken two cuttings from the same twig of his firethorn and he's going to plant them both in compost. But first he dips the end of one cutting in hormone rooting powder. The second cutting is planted in just the same way, but without any hormone rooting powder. What else will the cuttings need in order to grow? Plant hormones are chemicals that trigger plants into growing leaves, flowers and roots. So what difference will hormone rooting powder make to the cutting he's planted? Two weeks later, what effect will the hormone rooting powder have had? The one on the right doesn't look very well. The top leaves have gone brown. That's the one without the hormone rooting powder, and it shows no sign of any root development. This one did have the hormone rooting powder. Wow, it really works! The only difference between these two cuttings was that one of them was encouraged to grow with hormone rooting powder. How do you think it works? What makes people grow? This is the Scientific Eye Old Clothes Show. Everyone's trying to get into last year's clothes. What would you find if you measured your height every month? One curious thing about teenagers is that they often grow in spurts. For months and months they stay exactly the same size and then suddenly they shoot up by several centimetres. This is called a growth spurt. What starts off a growth spurt? It all begins in the middle of your head, behind the top of your nose. Come on, let's have a closer look. There it is, the pituitary gland, underneath the brain. This is the gland that makes human growth hormone and sends it down to where it's needed. This is our artist's impression of the growth factory inside your body. You don't really grow new bones all the time, but the bones you have grow longer, and you grow more muscle and more skin. 
What causes a growth spurt is that an alarm signal goes off in the brain and the pituitary produces more hormone. Then all the machines go into overdrive and up you shoot. Have the people in your class had growth spurts at any particular time of the year? Samara and Sean are twins. They're at the health clinic. How are you? Sean, just want to pop him down. And how's the feeding going? The same as before. Same as before. Yeah. Be. If you were a doctor, how would you check to make sure the babies are growing properly? A simple method is to measure his weight. That's lovely. You're very still, aren't you? He weighs 5.58 kilograms. This and other details are carefully entered on his personal health chart. They use a graph to make sure he's OK. This is how the average baby gains weight. But it's perfectly OK to be anywhere within this wide range. Sean is 5.58 kilograms, which is a bit below the average for his age, but well within the healthy range. Just pop her head up to the top there, just hold it. Another there. way they check on healthy growth is to measure the length of the baby. What does a baby need to grow properly? OK, that's fine. Okay. Some people don't grow as fast as they should. Georgina's pituitary gland wasn't making enough growth hormone, and so when she was seven, she was smaller than her five-year-old brother. Her parents were worried about her lack of growth and took her to the doctor. Every day now, Georgina has an injection of human growth hormone, and she's almost back to the average height for her age. Well, I'm nearly as big as a nine-year-old. Samantha and Patrick are friends. They're the same age and in the same class. Does it matter that their heights are different? Are they growing healthily? Up to the age of 16, this is the average height for girls. They stop growing at about 160 centimetres, and it's perfectly normal to be anywhere within this band. Boys are slightly taller most of the time, except for a few teenage years. Samantha and Patrick are both 13. For 13-year-olds, the maximum normal height is about 165 centimetres, and the minimum about 140. Both Samantha and Patrick are within this range. They're both normal and healthy, just different. How would you feel if you were exactly the same as everyone else? What would the world be like if everyone was identical? What if we had a world correction center where all teenagers were hammered into shape? What would the world standard teenager look like? Colourless. 
featureless, boring. In fact, all over the world, people do grow all different shapes and sizes, and the world is a much better place for it. It's okay to be different. People who live in different environments seem to grow differently. In the Arctic, the Inuit people tend to be short and stocky. While in Ethiopia, the people of the Kwegu tribe are tall and thin. Have you any idea why? This daffodil is never going to grow as tall as an oak tree. They come from different families of plants. This garage is a family business. Would you expect John to be about the same height as his brother Joe? They do look alike, don't they? John's son Lee is an apprentice. When do you think he'll reach the same size as his dad? And what about the latest recruit, Jodie? Will she grow as tall as her brother Lee? What similarities and what differences do you expect to find in family photos? Some brothers and sisters grow to exactly the same height. What have twins got that makes them grow up so nearly the same? To your places quickly, children. No more idle gossip now. Stand up straight, back straight, and tongues most certainly still. A hundred years ago, things were different. Why were our own great-great-grandparents much shorter than we are today? People were less well off. And many died young. In Australia, in 1859, Thomas Austin released 24 rabbits because he wanted to have sport shooting them. But the rabbits got their own back by breeding rapidly, and within 90 years the population had grown to several hundred million. With plenty of food and no foxes to eat them, the rabbit population grew faster and faster. This is called exponential growth. Two things stopped the population growing. First, the deadly disease myxomatosis. And second, they ate all the food and reduced the countryside to desert. We're simply counting the holes here as a means of estimating the population size. It's calculated roughly that a rabbit uses about two active entrances. So in a warren like this that's got, say, 20 active entrances, you've probably got about 10 rabbits living. Dr Brian Cook is a scientist at Wichity Station. Not only does he give each rabbit an individual address, he also has the job of keeping track of the population growth. He counts the rabbits every six weeks. One reason why the rabbits multiply so fast is that they have big families. 
so do grey short-tailed opossums. Why do you think opossums have so many babies? What's the best family size for people? Suppose these five were all one family and they each went off and had five children. How many more would there be in the second generation? Twenty-five. And if they each had five children, how many more in the third generation? A hundred and twenty-five. With big families, the population grows rapidly. And that becomes a problem when the food supplies are limited. Imagine that this blue circle represents the whole world. With a population of only five, there's plenty of space. And plenty of food and drink for everyone. But what will it be like when the second generation arrives? Suddenly, it seems crowded. Food and drink are in danger of running out. What will it be like when the third generation turns up? One factor that limits the growth of population is death. What do people die of? The First World War was the bloodiest conflict that had ever happened. In four years, 13 million people were killed. In 1918, there was an epidemic of flu. It doesn't sound serious, but in just a few months, 20 million people died from the influenza. The world's human population is still growing. What will slow it down? Will it be war, or disease, or lack of food? Or can we control population by limiting family size? <laughs>